new calls for some bunny ears because we are going to be going into Learning Express and buying every single Easter themed fidget, squishmallow, and slime that the store sells. I did a video exactly like this one last year and it has over 2 million views, which tells me that you guys really liked it. And so I am doing another one this year and I am so excited. The thing that I am most excited to shop for today are Easter themed slimes because I was here with Callie last weekend and guys, they had so many Easter ones out and I was literally screeching inside of the store and jumping up and down with Callie. But I had a lot of self control and I did not buy any because I knew I wanted to film this video for you guys a few days later. So we are going to go crazy inside the store today and I have a funny feeling we're going to need more than one shopping basket. But you guys, before we get started, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I want to see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete that five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. Hmm. Okay, if you received a giant size Easter egg at your doorstep, what would you want it to be filled with? It could be anything. Let's say the Easter egg is like four feet tall. What would you want to be inside of it? Let me know. I am dying to hear how you guys would answer this question. And one more thing, guys, I want you to predict how many items we are going to find today. I think we are going to end up finding 77 Easter themed fidgets, slimes, and squishmallows total. But without further ado, let's hop on into Learning Express and start this shopping challenge. Here we go. I'm literally going to hop into the store. You ready? All right guys, so I just hopped into the store and I am so excited because they have so many new things out and I think this was the most perfect day to come and do this video. So as always, we're going to start in the front and work our way through the entire store. So let's get started. Look you guys, they have Easter baskets out. They are so stinking cute. I love the little bunny print that's on them. So I'm almost tempted to use these today to go shopping instead of the store baskets, but I guess we'll just stick with this for now because they are a little bit bigger. But okay, you guys, check out the front display. It is bursting with color. First of all, we have this little bunny poppet that they had last year, and this is still one of my very favorite fidgets for Easter time. So we're going to add that. And I know they also have a chick one. They may be sold out, I am not sure. Ooh! Look, I actually don't have this one. It's a multicolored pastel striped bunny and I am obsessed with it. Oh, here's the chick. I am so happy I found this. As you guys know, I love birds and I just think that this poppet is absolutely adorable. So we're getting that one as well. I think that's all for the full-sized Easter poppet, but we can't forget about these little guys. So these mini bunny poppets remind me so much of marshmallow peeps. Guys, like this video if you love peeps. I feel like people either love peeps or hate peeps. We're going to get this pastel yellow one and let's see if they have any other colors. I think they just have the yellow ones out. Guys, I saw these last time I was in the store. They're called mini tweets. And for someone who loves birds as much as I do, I want one of these so bad. They're not fidgets though, they are whistles. Um, I just wanted to point it out though, maybe I will have to get one for myself though after this shopping challenge because I am really curious to see what it sounds like. I will say though, my house already sounds like an aviary. So yeah, don't know if that'd be a good idea. But anyways, all right, let's keep looking. These are rainbow heart-shaped poppets. That's more Valentine's Day. So we're not going to be getting that. Oh, okay. What are these? Caterpillar puffer. Oh, so these are new. I don't know if I should count these for our Easter shopping challenge, but they're definitely really cute for spring. Let's keep going. Over here, we have these glowing eggs, which seems like it's something new. I don't think it's a fidget. Let's read the back. What does it say? It says it magically changes color, which is pretty cool. But again, I don't think you could fidget with it. So we're going to leave that there. We have some mystery packs, chemistry. I still have yet to try these. They look really, really cool. Um, they are edible, so it looks like slime, but it's not. This is a little carrot car, and guys, I think we need this. I mean, how stinking adorable. Let's see, I'm gonna test it out. <laughs> 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 
guys, that's literally so cute. I love this. We have to get it. We are going to wrap around to this side now. We have this adorable 3D Poppet Bunny purse and it has a really cool tie-dye effect. So we're going to add this to our basket. How cute are these little bunny rabbit beanie boos? I love them. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so perfect for this shopping challenge. They are Easter themed pop rockers, AKA 3D poppets. So we have a pink Easter bunny, a turquoise Easter bunny, a bright yellow chick, a white Easter bunny with a carrot. And then I think there's probably gonna be one or two more because I feel like usually these come in sets of six. Let's look on the back. Oh, never mind. There are four to collect in the Easter set. So the chick's name is Delilah. The white bunny's name is Peter. The pink bunny's name is Jessica. And the turquoise bunny's name is Oswald. Aw. I used to watch a show when I was younger called Oswald. He was a blue octopus. If you guys know what I'm talking about, comment below. We're going to add all of these to the basket. So now we're going to come over here. We got more of these adorable little beanie boo stuffed animals, but again, they don't qualify for this challenge in particular. Seeing bubbles out makes me so excited because that tells me that spring and summertime are just around the corner. All right, guys, so we officially made it to the toy towers. You know how it goes. We're gonna go through all the little plastic bins to make sure that we don't miss anything Easter themed. So it looks like the first Easter fidget is in here, the top row. I got this last year and it is the coolest ever. So it's pretty much a bouncy ball that's in the shape of an Easter egg. How fun. And look, it looks so cool with my nails. I love it. So we're going to get a fresh one that's in the wrapper. We've got glittery monkey noodles. We're gonna pass on that. Liquid timer. Fun fact, this is one of my very first fidgets. It came in an Amazon mystery package. Hmm. I'll let you guys know if I find anything else Easter themed, but so far I am not. So guys, I looked through all of them and the only thing that I found was the little bouncy ball Easter egg, but there is another side to this. So let's just double check before we move forward. More caterpillars, more slime stuff. Oh, wait, I am so happy I came back here because look, they have these little wind up toys and this just so happens to be a pink little bunny. So that's perfect. We are going to keep going because we still have a lot of store to cover. All right, we've made it to the next display of fidgets. We've got stress balls galore, spaghetti and meatballs, burgers, sushi, dumplings, all kinds of cool foods. Okay, Tangled Charms. I don't think there's anything over here that's Easter themed. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. I changed my mind. I would say that this little squishy chick stress ball would count for this challenge because bunnies and chicks go hand in hand with Easter. So let's add that to our basket. All right, now let's check out this display. We have dinosaurs, a banana, a pineapple, a slug. Ew, guys, look at these. They're little creepy crawly critters. I have something that looks like this, except they're rainbow, so they're not quite as creepy. I feel like you could actually prank someone and totally freak someone out if you got these because pretty much you stick them to your wall and then they crawl down and ugh, that'd be so creepy. We got some slinkies. Ooh, this is the ultimate slinky. Look at that. I feel like if I got this, it would take up an entire drawer of my fidget collection. And then of course the BFF dimples. All right, let's keep going. I almost forgot about this wall with the pop tube pets. So the only way I would get one of these is if they had a chick or a bunny. And I don't think they do because trust me, I have looked at these a million and 10 times. They mostly have zoo animals. So let's look over here at the jelly ruse. We have a pink elephant, so cute. Oh, I need your opinion, you guys. Should this white sheep count for our Easter shopping challenge? I feel like lambs and Easter go hand in hand. I'm going to say yes, but comment your thoughts below. I've never seen this one before. It's a giraffe jelly roo. That is adorable. And this monkey is new. I swear I've never seen him before. Love the kangaroo. Frogs are more just like spring, but I also kind of associate them with Easter. I don't know. That's a tough call, but I guess I won't get the frog. Okay, no bunnies or chicks. So we are just going to get the little lamb. 
two seconds later. And now it is time for Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. Oh my goodness, you guys, they have gotten so many new options. Look at this. Happy Earth, that's so fun. Hide and seek, and this is gnome home themed. Social butterfly, happy hedgehog, sweet surprise, playful puppy. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing any Easter. <gasps> oh, okay, I was just about to say, I'm not having any luck in this section, but look what I found. So they call this Sunshine Thinking Putty. And okay, they have one called Spring Frog. Another one called Piglet, and then another one called Butterfly. Look, you guys, they're Easter colors. It's just giving me Easter vibes. So I'm gonna add these. And I'm also thinking we should go back and get that little frog jelly roux because, yeah, this is just confirmation that I should. We're gonna have him hop right on into the basket. All right, guys, now let's check out the circus tent display of fidget toys. So these pineapples are new. I have something similar at home, except they are a lot smaller. So that's really cool. They are Easter colors, but pineapples aren't necessarily Easter themed. So let's keep looking. We've got Orbeez filled unicorns, some caterpillars, dogs. We got this little chicken. Should we count it? I feel like we should because a chicken is just an adult chick. So we should count it. And then we should also get this little splat egg that goes with it because Easter and eggs, they go together. So let's get both of these. And then nothing else over here qualifies. That means we're going to move on to Nitos. Now, unless they added specific Nitos for Easter, I'm not even gonna waste my time over here because Nitos are basically just fun colors. They don't usually have Easter themed ones, but let's just check it out, all right? We have Shimmer Nidos, Snappy Nidos, Color Changing Nidos, Bubble Nidos, but nothing Eastery. Let's just keep moving on. And now over here, we have a Purple Stars 02 favorite because it's true, guys. I love PBJs. These are very similar to Jelly Roos, except I think these are more fun to squish because they easily fit in the palm of your hand. So we are looking for a bunny or a chick, or I guess a frog and a sheep. We're counting those two now. Oh, I thought that this unicorn was a bunny at first because I saw white. You got real excited. We could get this frog. We can also get this little lamb and they don't have any chicks or bunnies. So I am more than satisfied with adding these two because they are adorable. And now guys, let's look through this train full of fidget toys. Okay, we found our first Easter themed fidget in the train. And it's this green squishy carrot. And guys, when I tell you I have been wanting to get this squishy carrot for months, I am not kidding. So I think today is the perfect day for me to get this. It's so cute and satisfying. Oh guys, they also have a white carrot. And I just think that these are so cute. So I'm gonna get both of these. I think these are the only two Easter fidgets from the train. So I'm going to add these to the basket. Check out these Easter water wigglers. These seriously are too flipping cute. And you know why they advertised it this way? I'll show you why. So I'm sure all of you guys have seen these classic water wigglers before but these are Easter edition and they're transformative. As you guys can see right now, it's a white bunny and it's about to transform into, oh boy, it fell on the floor, a pink bunny. Now let's make you go back to white, ready? Abracadabra, look at that. That is so cool. Here's another one, okay? It starts as a pink bunny and you can make it turn into a little yellow chick. I love this one. And then the last one starts off as a chick and it turns into a mint green bunny. Also, these look really cute with my nails, which is an added bonus. So guys, this is brand new to Learning Express. They are called Squish Frogs and I love them. They are so fun. I saw these in the store last weekend when I was with Callie and I really wanted to try them. And so I think that today is the perfect day to do it because as we had already established, frogs are included in this Easter shopping challenge. So we are going to get the turquoise one, the blue one, the purple one, and of course the pink one. We have finally made it to the slimes and guys, like I said in the car, I am most excited to look through these. Ah! You guys know how much I love slimes, especially Easter slimes. They're always so pastel and vibrant and sweet smelling. So let's go take a look at what they have out this year. Starting off with kawaii slimes. Okay, look how cute. They have a dill pickle slime. 
a maple syrup slime, a fuzzy pink poodle, squeaky clean bubble bath, and it's a little rubber duck slime that is so cute. They have a gummy shark one, metamorphosis, chocolate bears. Guys, do you think that this fuzzy duckling cloud slime should count? I don't know. It's kind of giving me Easter vibes, honestly. I think I am going to count this one. Ooh, straw dairy cow that's so cute. Sweet milk parfait slime. They have a dinosaur one. Oh my gosh, it's another new one. Strawberry clear putty slime. Oh my goodness. And this slime is honestly one of my favorites in my collection. It's called Kawaii Seafood. So I love that one. I wish it counted. All right, so out of Kawaii slimes, I think that one slime is the only one that technically qualifies. But now guys, let's check out these two sections of dope slime. They have so many out, like, I have never seen this many dope slimes at once at Learning Express, so I'm literally freaking out inside. But okay, let's see. We're gonna go through literally all of them. We have Cupid's Fluff, Dragon Fruit Freeze, Tiffany's Frosting, Peppermint Bark Micro Dough, Lemonade Fusion, Lavender Dreams, Cherry Cheesecake, Lemon Lavender, Avocado Puff, Cookies and Crunch, Blueberry Dreams, Strawberry Milk. This is giving me Easter vibes, but I guess it's not technically Easter. Sugar Cookie Frosting looks delicious. Shamrock Shake, Cotton Candy Frost. I totally associate Easter with cotton candy. I'm getting this one, you guys. Cherry Bomb, Blueberry Pancake, Hazelnut, aka Nutella. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, I officially found the section of Easter dope slimes. There's so many. There are so many. I'm going to need to buy more drawer organizers after this because, wow. So, let's see. They have one called Easter Basket, and oh my goodness, look at the little chick Themo slices and the fun colored sprinkles. This is amazing. Okay, we're getting that one. This next one is Robin's Dream Cake. Oh, look at those colors. When I see slimes like this, they always catch my eye, but then I think to myself, I don't want to mix them. Like they're just so cool looking when they are unblended and multicolored, but I think it'd make a beautiful mint green color anyway. So let's get that. Okay, this might just be the most gorgeous slime I've ever seen. It's called Easter Sherbert, and it has the three main Easter colors, pink, purple, and yellow. It looks so cute with my nails. Bunny Mallow Mashup. I had something similar to this last year, and it's one of my favorite slimes. It truly does smell exactly like marshmallow fluff. Like, you could not tell the difference between this slime and the real thing. I swear, you guys, it is so good. And then there's another one. It's called Love Bunny, and look at the colors. It is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this is a mix of a Valentine's Day slime and an Easter slime because the colors and the label are kind of remind me of Valentine's Day, but then the pastel background and the bunnies totally make it Eastery. So let's add that. And then Rainbow Frost is also an Easter slime. It has that beautiful sunset effect. So let's get this one. Marshmallow Puff, Lucky Charms, Mango Paradise, Frosted Lemonade. Ooh, Pineapple Dole Whip, yum. Birthday Cake Ice Cream, Dragon Fruit Twist, Shamrock Shake. I think I've seen all of these, but you guys look at all of these amazing Easter goodies that we have found so far. So we've officially looked through all of the slimes and fidget toys, but we still have to go look at the Squishmallows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my basket over in the counting corner, and then I'm going to get another basket and come over here to the Squishmallow section. On second thought, maybe we should get two shopping baskets instead of just one, because I have a feeling they're going to have a lot of fun Easter Squishmallows. <gasps> Wait, you guys. Okay, I am not even kidding you. I totally missed this entire display. So never mind, we are not done looking for fidget toys because this is a brand new display they put out and instantly, what do you guys see on the top shelf? A bunny twist up toy and a chick twist up toy and they are so cute together. Literally, I'm obsessed. I have an idea, let's make them race. Which one do you guys think is gonna win? Oh, they're already going on their own. I didn't even touch them. I'm gonna twist them up. We're gonna see which one goes further. They're going in opposite directions. <laughs> this is so cute. All right, which one do you guys think is gonna stop first? 
right as I said that the bunny stopped so chick is still going strong the chick one whoop, whoop. all right we're getting them both let's add these to the basket and then also you guys look they have bunny snappers I am so happy that I looked in this direction because I almost missed it entirely and they have so many color options for these so we have mint green yellow pink purple, orange, and I'll bet they have a blue one in here too. So let's look around. Maybe not. I thought they would have blue also, but that's okay. We still have these five fabulous colors. So I'm going to gather them up and put them in our basket. Ready? Boom. And then I also saw some more of these mini bunny poppets. So you guys probably remember in the very beginning of the video, I got the yellow one and I was looking for other colors, but I thought they had run out. Turns out they do have other colors. So we're gonna get this baby blue one and this bright orange. Let's just make sure there's no others. Oh, and there is a beautiful mint green color as well. Love that one. And we already got yellow. So let's add these. Okay, now we're going to go over to the land of Squishmallows because we have officially looked at absolutely every fidget in the store. Look at this breathtaking sight. <gasps> I will never get over this. I would do anything to jump into a giant pile of Squishmallows. Just imagine, imagine if these were all in a giant empty pole. Oh, that'd be so much fun. So I already see so many Easter Squishmallows. Oh my gosh. How cute is this green bunny holding an Easter egg? We're gonna get him. We're also going to get the yellow one and the purple one. Also the blue one. I'm surprised they don't have a pink version. Is this different from the blue one we just put in? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, we're gonna get him. This is a little, I think it's a billy goat, I think, yes. And it's holding an Easter egg. There's this beautiful pastel bunny. She might just be my favorite. She looks so joyful and she's got all the Easter colors. I love it. Look at this little frog holding an Easter egg. That is so cute. Did we get this bunny? I don't think we did. Let me double check. Um, no, we didn't. Wow, guys, they have so much variety this year. It's insane. This is a little lamb. How adorable is this? It's a little cupcake with lilac bunny ears. Wow, this is really creative. There's also a chick with bunny ears and a little leopard with bunny ears. I love it. They got so creative with these this year. I think this is a badger with the ears. Also side note, I'm literally twinning with all of these Squishmallows because I am wearing my bunny ears still, even though I'm in the store. Gotta be in the spirit of the video. Duh. Did we get this one? I don't think we got this chick. Let me double check. I think the chick we got had the ears. Yeah, we did not get this one yet. Oh my gosh. Just when you think you had them all, they just keep coming. There's a little gray lamb. And then, okay guys, so they basically have all of the smaller Squishmallows that we just put in the basket in larger formation over here. However, they did not have this pink bunny in the mini size. So I am going to get this one but I'm not going to get the others because like I said, we technically already have them. They're just a little bit smaller. Oh my gosh, this little pig is adorable. I need this one. I also need the little donkey. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my goodness. And the strawberry milk. And guys, I don't think you understand. <laughs> they have like a hundred Easter Squishmallows. This is no joke. Look at this blue bunny and this little, I think it's a dog with bunny ears. My goodness gracious. We are literally going to need like 10 baskets. I am not exaggerating. I'm trying to avoid these ones because like I said, I technically already got them. You guys know the drill. Oh, look at the frog and the chick. This is actually my favorite size Squishmallow right here. They have these Easter stackables. Holy moly. So stinking adorable. Guys, it just, it never ends. So I'm going to try to be somewhat selective. And I think what I'm gonna do, because I don't feel like going and getting another basket, I'm going to get two of the stackable Squishmallows because I do not own any of those yet. So we're gonna get those two. <gasps> Look at that little axolotl. Callie would be begging me for that right now if she was here. 
I think the last Easter squish ball I'm going to get is this floral print cow. There's something about her that's just so cute and unique. So we're going to get this one. Okay, and I quite literally cannot fit any more Squishmallows into these two baskets. So I'm going to take them over to the counting corner and we are going to see how many items we were able to find today. All right, guys, we are officially done shopping and this is the aftermath. We have not one, not two, but three baskets full of Easter Easter fun. So now we are going to count it all out and see just how many items we were able to find today. So in the very beginning of this video, I predicted that we would find 77 Easter themed fidgets, slimes, and squishmallows total. So let's see how far off I was. And if you guys haven't put in your votes yet, make sure you pause the video now and comment below how many items you think I found total while shopping today. And no cheating. Do not fast forward to the end of this video, okay? But all right, let's start with Squishmallows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. These look so cute with my outfit. Sorry to interrupt. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, 72, 73. Guys, I was so close. I was four off. Oh my gosh. Guys, let me know in the comments below how close were you to predicting the exact number of items we found today? I gotta show you this beautiful mess that surrounds me right now. It is so beautiful. It's like all pastel and Eastery and exciting. I just love it. So I have to show you. Just take a look at this. Oh my goodness. We have a slime that's rolling away. Which one was it? It's the bunny mallow mashup. Apparently this one does not want to come home with me today. I do not know how I could possibly choose a favorite item, seriously. But if I had to, I am obsessed with these two-sided Easter water wigglers. I think it is such a creative and cool concept. So this is my favorite for the category of fidget toys. And then for squishmallows, oh gosh. It's like asking me to pick my favorite child. I love this little Easter bunny. She looks so joyful and springy. And then this Easter sherbet slime has got to be my favorite slime. It is so gorgeous and I can't wait to see what it smells like. But guys, make sure you comment below and let me know what your favorite item was that I found today. All right, guys, so I just made it back inside of the car and I seriously cannot believe how many things Learning Express had out for Easter. Seriously, they are on top of their game. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye. Mwah.